Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another DJI Phantom 4 video. Uh, now what I want to demonstrate within this video is the, uh, is the touch and go. If you're new to the drone, or you know, maybe, you're, maybe you're somewhat experienced but you haven't really challenged yourself, there's a lot of people, and you know, this is something that's up to the operator, but there's a lot of people that insist upon hand catching a drone. Now for me personally, I don't have the comfort level, even though I have the experience, I don't have the comfort level necessary to do that. I, I value my fingers and my ears and my and my face too much, but there's a lot of people that will hand catch it. Again, I do not recommend that. I recommend landing in a safe location and a great way to practice your landing abilities is to use, if you got the Phantom 4, to use the little thing that comes with it. I call it a glorified steak cooler because it looks like something you'd get mail order steak in. If you can land on that, you're pretty precise because I mean you've only got a few inches of air when you're landing on that. So that's what we're going to demonstrate within this video. I'm going to show you mildly windy conditions with the Phantom 4. Just a great way to practice your skill, your landing skill with the uh, with the case that comes with the Phantom 4. Now if you're not quite to that level, or maybe you're traveling somewhere that's that's hazardous environment, you, you can't get stuff wet, etc. You may want to use a waterproof and ruggedized case. Check the link within this video's description, and I've got some of those listed there. They, they, they function as a bigger landing pad for your Phantom 4, and they also better protect your Phantom 4 from the elements. So without further ado, let's get airborne. Uh, wind speed right now, mild gust around five knots. Um, and I have 14 satellites, unobstructed view of the sky, 14 satellites with my Phantom 4. So let's get her airborne and see what we can get here. Now keep in mind, depending upon the direction that the drone is facing, you can, if it's facing away from you, your controls will feel one way, but if it's coming towards you, it'll be uh, the opposite. So that's a good way to practice as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate landing behind the drone first, and then the next time I'm gonna have the drone facing me when I land. So this right here, this is just camera facing out. There's a gust of wind that just picked up. You can see the Phantom auto-correcting for the wind. This just makes it more fun. And if in doubt, always be ready to pop straight up because you don't want to land and break a prop. That's one thing I don't have yet for the Phantom 4, quick disconnect prop guards. As soon as I can get some, I'm gonna get them and I'll, I'll put them on 400 or below as well but so you know if I if I hit incorrectly I'm gonna break a prop probably so always take your time there's a lot of wind that just picked up like a lot And always, when I stop the engines, I always pull down the left stick because if you pull down both sticks, there's a possibility that's probably going to jerk and topple over to the side. And that's particularly bad if you're on a hard surface and it topples over, then you're, uh, you risk uh, damaging and or breaking your prop or multiple props. So that's the, uh, that's the landing with the camera facing away. Let's take off again now and let's land with the camera facing me. And when you do that, the controls are gonna be opposite. Uh, this is a good skill to practice too because if you're ever in a scenario where you gotta land in a tight spot, you know, you wanna get a really cool shot but there's not a lot of landing options, if you have a waterproof and ruggedized case, you could put it on, potentially you could put it on wet ground and have that dry area to land on. Also, if you're out on a boat and you've got the rocking when you're anchored up or maybe you're underway and you're trying to land it while you're moving at a slow speed, um, these are just great skills to possess. So let's do another touch and go here. Uh, but this time again, the camera's gonna be facing towards me. So 
see now the camera's facing towards me. So everything's backwards. See? But if you've flown a few thousand times like I have, it's just something that takes practice like anything else. Well, that was easier because there wasn't a lot of wind. Um, and, that, and that's particularly useful too because if you're in a situation where you're filming while you're landing, it's good to be able to, um, it's good to be able to keep that camera in the direction that you want to film. So if you if you know how to land and you challenge yourself to become prof proficient rather with landing with the camera facing away and then also facing towards you on a small landing pad such as that or again the larger waterproof and ruggedized case that I mentioned earlier, it's just a great way to add uh, to hone your skills. And something else with the waterproof and ruggedized cases the bright colors that you can choose from and again I've got them listed check the link within this video's description if you're if you're looking at it on camera they stand out better and it's just a great way to uh, to better visually like this gray case it came with the Phantom 4 it doesn't blend with the grass but if it was a bright color like the waterproof and ruggedized case it'd be easy, easier to see so yeah good stuff Phantom 4 favorite drone on the market today with that said, I'm not a DJI fanboy. Um, I just happen to feel that Phantom 4 is the best drone on the market today. And I said that about the previous Phantom models when I was flying them. So, I mean, it's, it's constantly evolving. Again, we're still in the bag cell phone days of drone technologies. There's a lot of troubleshooting challenges. Things don't work 100%, but the technology continues to get better. And I can't wait to see GoPro Karma. I have a feeling that drone may be a game changer. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irix guy y'all have a good day hey all irix guy here i wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel i'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow i appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day